morning guys welcome back to vlogmas day three we are currently on our way to the apple store right now to pick up my new imac m3 to do an unboxing so let's go Okay, we are home now with the new pink iMac M3. I am so excited to unbox this with you guys. And I did spec this one out a little bit from the base model. So I have it all on my phone so I can read it for you here. So like I said, this is the M3 iMac. It has the eight core CPU, four performance cores, four efficiency cores, 10 core GPU and 16 core neutral engine. I did spec it up to one terabyte of storage and 24 gigabytes of memory. It has two Thunderbolt ports and two USB three ports with ethernet, a magic mouse, a keyboard, and then I did install the Pro apps on it, but most importantly, the Final Cut Pro, which is the main reason I got this computer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open her up. Upside down. Is it upside down? I think it's upside down.
Okay, that unboxing was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. My desk was not big enough to actually unbox the iMac on it, so I had to transfer it to the floor and then transfer everything back up onto the desktop here, but it is set up, it's transferring right now. I have my other Mac still set up over here. So I'm using my Migration Assistant to try and transfer the items instead of the backup disc. I've never actually done this one before, so hopefully it works out okay, but that is the unboxing part. I'm gonna set it up and then I'm gonna show you the whole setup. Okay, while that's transferring though, I just love that the accessories match the iMac. So it is the pink one. I absolutely love this color. No regrets there. I thought I might regret it a little bit, but I absolutely love it. Even the cord is pink. I know it's still lightning, but I like that they are also a braided cord. So that's great. And then here is the keyboard. Co oh. Oh, it's white. I was like, oh, did I miss something like taking off like one of them little plastic wrap things? But no, it's just white on the bottom. But the keyboard is pink, super similar to the other one. I would say this one is slightly shorter, like the buttons feel different than my other iMac. So I don't know. I feel like that's fun to get used to, I guess. The back of it is more of like a red color, which I don't know if I like love as much, but I'm not gonna be seeing the back of it very often. But I'm so excited to have this set up and finally get to test it out and edit some videos on here. I think this is going to be a huge upgrade from my other iMac. So I'm very excited for this to be done. I don't know how long it's going to take, so I'm gonna catch up with you when it's finished. Oh my God, this thing just updated with like the time to transfer the items and it says eight hours and 42 minutes oh dear i wonder if i should cancel this and just use the backup disc so then i can like just log on and start using the computer now i don't know that's a long time okay while we're waiting for the mac to set up i also bought this little adapter thing for it so i can plug in my cables on the front of it and it comes with all of the colors basically for the iMac so let's unbox this little thing and set it up as well since we have time I hate just I just hate when the box like rips and you're trying to be so careful to unbox it but this whole box just ripped so I guess tech with it and we're just going to get in there Okay, here's all the stickers. And then I do believe it connects, yeah, via lightning port to the back and then you kind of just clip it on to the computer, which is kind of cool. And then it clips on to the front so you don't have to reach around behind to plug things in. So it has like a little SD card, a micro SD, and then some USB ports and then one lightning on the front. And then of course I'm going to be putting the pink little sticker cover on this. So this might require some more concentration. I'm going to put this on and then I'll show you. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad to apply. You basically just peel and stick and it like goes right into the little groove. So this is what it looks like. And then this is kind of how it attaches to the back of the Mac here. So I assume you just kind of slide it in and then tighten the little pin and there we go i messed up a little bit um i started migration assistant from my original mac to the new one however um it was going to take like 10 hours and i was trying to do it over wi-fi so i was just like that's probably gonna take too long i have an external disc for backup so i'm just going to use this since i already backed up my mac to this one i thought that would be faster so i canceled it and I guess it, I don't know, erased the startup disk or something on the computer. So now it's in recovery mode and I couldn't get it to just work. And now it says um, that I need to reinstall Mac Sonoma on it. And this will not transfer the data. I have to do it over migration assistant. So that's gonna take like a whole day, I guess, to actually set up the computer. This is kind of a fail, I would say, of setting up my new iMac. I still really like it and I can't wait to use it. I did actually install the little adapter thing. So I have the keyboard 
plugged in here and charging already but I actually really like how seamless this one looks um, and it's super easy just to plug in everything as well instead of reaching around the back or having a extra like adapter and stuff on the desk this one just attaches which I really really like so I can also link that down below on Amazon if you guys want to check that out since this is going to take forever I'm going to show you the little setup so far even though the Mac is not actually set up yet but I'll take you for a little desk tour setup right here she is the pink iMac i do have the keyboard charging but here's the mouse little mouse pad got some files and things back there and then just my like desk lamp kleenex and then my laptop is in my laptop sleeve here and markers but that is basically the simple desk setup i am so excited to use this and this screen is a little bit bigger than my last iMac which is currently sitting down there on the floor being ready to transfer but I just wanted to clear the desk off and then kind of get it set up of how it's going to look when I actually use it. But thanks so much for watching today's Vlogmas. I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this chaotic and non-aesthetic unboxing and give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more Vlogmas videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!